This is chapter six, problem number one. A seventy-five kilogram firefighter climbs a flight of stairs of twenty-eight meters high. How much work? The magical formula for this chapter. The first one will be work due to mechanical force will be equal to the force times distance. In this case, let's draw a free body diagram. Here's a firefighter. If he just hang up on a rope, what would be the force acting on him? It would be gravity. Gravity is mg. If he just hangs still, so there would be a tension. If he doesn't move or move at a constant velocity, that means when it moves at a constant velocity, that means no net force is acting on it. Because if there's a net force, there must be acceleration. That's Newton's second law. All right, so let's see what this force is. Force tension, so force. Force is equal to mg. Force is equal to m times g. All right, so work is equal to force times distance. So work is equal to force times distance. That is equal to m times g times distance is move 28 meters high. All right, meters. If you plug in everything, that will be equal to 75.0 times g is 9.8 times 28. If you use all the SI unit, so we don't have to worry about this unit, 75 times 9.8 times 28, that would be equal to 20580 joules. Force is Newton, that's this unit. Distance, the unit is meter. So one joule is equal to one Newton meter. Okay, sometimes when this number is very big, then we can say that that is equal to roughly 20.6 kilojoules. The lucky number for this problem is 7.